The Hadza honey hunter will leave camp armed with his axe and a fire stick. He will start hearing chatters and whistles from the honey guide bird. The Hadza honey hunter will follow the bird um, who guides him, literally guides him to a tree that contains honey. The Hadza have this really, really intimate relationship with the honey guide. In terms of knowing what it's saying, and they'll whistle a certain way to attract it. Yeah? It's very, very special. So, so. Humans have got something special, and that is smoke. Smoke enables us to quell the bees, to stop them stinging so hard that you have to give up, and instead we can spend 15, 20 minutes getting the honey out. Humans are the only species that can get large amounts of honey out of the stinging bee hives. The bird will wait patiently and fly down and will essentially take the leftovers. It's the most developed, co-evolved, mutually helpful relationship between any mammal and any bird. The relationship between the Hadza and the honey guide bird is documented in great detail, and also the importance of honey consumption in human evolution. And some of the oldest rock art that you find in South Africa is actually depicting honey collection that includes honey and has little, you know, images of bees kind of buzzing around the container of honey. And uh, there is even a picture of a figure smoking out a hive. 